Hey everyone, oh, I look absolutely gorgeous as usual. No, I'm kidding. I look actually really crazy. Um, I have to put my wig cap on because this is a wig review video. But um, before I do any of that, I just want to quickly like, oh, is that is that you guys don't know? By the way, if the sound, it's like thundering really bad outside. So if you hear like growling or like thundering it's like because it's thundering outside but um as i was saying if the sound sounds weird it's because my mic is like tilted a weird way so if the sound does sound weird i am really sorry there's nothing i can do about it for now but in the future it will be fixed but before i get on with this video i know a lot of people hate it when um people talk a lot during reviews or like videos but I just really, really have to mention this. So for those of you who follow me on social media or who don't, I mean, it doesn't really matter. For those of you who do follow me, you would know that I have been severely sick for the past week. I haven't been able to post looks or videos at all. So what happened to me was on July 4th, I started getting like, um, sore throat and my tonsils were inflamed so I do suffer from tonsillitis so my tonsils are like literally like this big so they always touch and I always get like sick because of it so I get sick very very often throughout the year uh, and it's getting it's been getting a little bit worse like recently so I I did a drag show on July 4th and then on July 5th I started feeling horrible and I had another show that night and I wasn't going to do it but then I was like you know what let me just push through and do it which I should have never done so I pushed myself and I almost died. I literally felt so bad after I did that show on July 5th and right after that I just started feeling horrible like I was not feeling well. I my back was hurting, my stomach was hurting, my head was hurting, my throat was hurting, my whole body was hurting. I had a fever of 104. Like, I was, like, literally dying. I couldn't walk. I was collapsing. I was shaking in my boots. Like, it was it was really bad. So I did end up going to the hospital um, that following Saturday, and they gave me medication. And basically, they said I was fine, but that I had, um, like, like, an infection or something. Girl, I really thought I had something. Like, I was like, damn, like, what did I do? Like... What could I have possibly done to like get sick like this? So uh, on top of me being sick, my wisdom teeth decided to come in. So you know that's so cute. You know that's like perfect like work. Um, yeah, my wisdom teeth decided to come in, and uh, I'm the biggest pussy ever. And I'm pretty sure everyone has gotten their wisdom teeth like, like or ha like has gotten it removed or is getting it, I don't know. But um, you would know that you get like a fever sometimes when you, when they come out and I didn't know that. So on top of having a fever from being sick, I got another fever from having my wisdom teeth coming out. So then I started getting like these weird, it was like oral thrush, but it wasn't really like oral thrush. If you don't know where oral thrush is, Google it cause it's really nasty. But I started getting like weird like pimples all over my tongue and I think it was because of the medication I was taking so then I just started getting blisters on my on my lip and like my my gums were inflamed from the teeth coming out so I wasn't even able to talk or eat so I wasn't even able to film even while I was sick because I couldn't talk correctly so I literally just took a whole week of like doing nothing and just recently I started performing I actually did perform yesterday for the first time in a long time for one of my sisters and dress basically my step drag mom miss toto she's an amazing drag queen she is miami's best drag queen like literally she literally is miami's best drag queen so um yeah i love her so much and i performed for her last night as bride of chucky and it was such a cute key and i'm glad that i feel much better now um and i'm glad that i'm back in my, in my youtube shit again because i just really was so sick and i it just it's always something something's always like trying to get at me like the devil really does work try to try he, he really tries he or she really tries to like fuck me up sometimes because i cannot but yeah that happened to me i almost died <laughs> so um yeah i'm back i took all my meds and i can finally drink now so that's good but uh yeah i am back i'm happy i'm feeling much better so, uh, let's get on with this wig review. Alrighty guys, so before I start, let me put on my wig cap. Oh, I hate putting on wig caps. 
I know you guys miss my makeup tutorials. Trust me, they're gonna. I'm gonna do one very, very soon. I actually the the look that I did today was from the Boxy Charm box of July and June. Um, I know I haven't done a Boxy Charm unboxing in so long. Like I said, I've been so busy. Uh, but I did do a look with the Boxy Charm box of this month, and let me tell y'all, it's it's really good. So. Alrighty guys, so the wig that I am reviewing today is from AF Sister Wig. Now, if you haven't heard from them, um, they are a wig company. I'm not sure where they're based off of, to be honest. I have no idea. Like, I really tried to um, see where they're based off of. Like, I, I have no idea. Like, we were emailing for a while, and I was trying to find out where they're from. And I have no idea. So yeah, I have no idea where they're from, but they emailed me and they wanted to send me a free wig for me to review for you guys. So this is actually a human hair wig company, so they only sell very, very affordable human hair wigs. So let's just open her up. So I actually had the luxury of picking out the, the hair that I wanted, and this is her right here. Girl, get the fuck. This is what she looks like in the box. Beautifully packaged, gorgeous. So this is, like I said, this is a human hair wig. Oh my god, look, bitch. So when you get your order, you do receive um, an elastic band and some hair clips, which is awesome, I think that's really cool. And then you receive two wig caps, a nude wig cap, and then a black wig cap. So this is what she looks like. I'm gonna also insert pictures of what she looks like on the website. So, if, let's take out this netting. So this is what she looks like. So right off the bat, she's extremely, extremely soft. Obviously, she's human. So, um, it is not a full lace. I actually thought it was a full lace, but it's not a full lace. Um, this hair is called Clara. She's a pre-plucked, light pink, human hair bob lace wig, silky straight. And um, when you look at the website, you are able to get a medium size cap, which is 22.5 inches, and then a large size cap, which is the one that I asked for because I do have a man head. So I did want to get a large size cap, which is a 23.5 inch with, uh, yeah, 23.5 inches. I do think they sent me the, the medium one for some reason, but um, yeah. And then I asked for 14 inches of hair just because I like longer hair. So before we try her on, um, I'm going to show you. There's two clips on the side. She's very, very big. And then um, there's a clip right over here by the lace. And then it has the, the two little straps over here. There is some lace in the back for you to do like a ponytail. So let's just try her on. Alrighty guys, so this is what she looks like. Damn, she is really cute. I've never seen myself in pink hair like this. But do you guys see that? She's very shiny, very silky, very smooth. The quality is extremely nice. I was a little bit scared that it wasn't going to fit my perimeter, but it actually does. Like if I glue her down and I go like that, you only see a little bit of my sideburns, but that's because I have really long sideburns, but it actually does fit my head pretty well. And the back, it fits really nicely too. Obviously, like if I want to wear this for, for a show, I would have to pin her very well because she could slip and fall out. But this is what she looks like up close. As you can see, I have not cut the lace yet. And it does have baby hairs in the front. So, yeah, she looks good. Now, this hair retails for $219, which honestly, it is a pricey price, but I've seen cheap synthetic hair go for $150, and this is a human hair wig, and for $219, that's an amazing price for a human hair wig. So, um, I usually don't really rock a lot of human hair, but I do have like two human hair wigs, and let me tell you, it's such a difference. Um, especially if you're a drag queen who performs when you flip your hair you could tell that it's like light and awesome and not and like it doesn't like it's not like heavy it's what i'm trying to say and if you wear wigs every single day i really do recommend like investing in a human hair wig because they do last longer the synthetic wigs but she is looking real real cut like bitch 
So what I'm about to do is basically transform this wig. I'm going to cut the lace. I'm going to put some foundation inside and straighten her. So I'm going to go do that really quick and then come back. Alrighty guys, so this is what the hair looks like with the lace cut. She is ironed. She's glued. Now, I did glue it with Prosade. Um, I don't like using Prosade because I feel like it ruins the lace sometimes. With human hair wigs, I do recommend using the got to be glue method. If you don't know what that is, I don't know why I'm out of breath. If you don't know what the got to be glued method is, it's basically that um, you like put gel on your like forehead and all that stuff and then it like acts like as a glue. I want to try that with this hair. Um, I had nothing else so I had to use Prosade but I will be cleaning it out right after because I do want to wear her a lot more because she is cut as fuck. Now if you're wondering what's going on here, I have no idea. I didn't shave my chest so that's why I have this little cute scarf on. Um, if it, let me see. Can you see my chest? I don't think you can see my chest. Oh, baby. She can naked. But yeah, guys, so as you can see, I glued the sides down. You can kind of see my sideburns a little bit. Um, that's because I haven't had a haircut in years. But yeah, the baby hairs are absolutely stunning. I feel fish. I feel gorgeous. This hair... Ooh. Let me glue her down real quick. But this is what she looks like. This is Clara, I believe. Clara, Clara, Miss Clara. So this is Clara from AF Sister Wig. And my final thoughts on the hair is that I really, really highly recommend this hair. The only issues that I've been having is that I feel like it doesn't fit my actual head. I mean, it does fit, like the actual perimeters fit nicely. But as far as like, the, I feel like the back does not fit well. And I feel like maybe that's why they sent over some elastics and some like clip-ons so that you could add it yourself because um the back is a little weird like the back wouldn't clip right i'm not sure so it's just it's a little it's a little off for me but i absolutely love this hair i love the color i love how it feels it ironed in like 3.5 seconds it literally just went straight so i 100 recommend this hair for the price i think the price is really amazing for human hair for a full human hair unit i think it's absolutely worth it you are able to get a full lace if that's your gig um that's what i wanted but um i think it might be a little bit more expensive if you want a full lace i don't even think it's a full lace. like you can't get a full lace i don't know whatever Either way, I love this hair. I think it's amazing. If you do want this hair or are interested in buying hair like this, I will be leaving links down below to where you can get this hair and hair like this. So yeah, thank you so much AF Sister Wigs for sending me this hair. I am forever grateful. I love it so much. I'm going to be wearing it for all my shows and forever for whenever I want to feel, you know, just fish boots. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for sending this to me and believing in me and just, you know, hooking a sister up. But um, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't a makeup tutorial, but trust me, a makeup tutorial will be coming very soon. If you have any other ideas you want me to do, anything that you have in mind, let me know down below and I will get to it as soon as I can. My Instagram and Twitter is MorpheneLoveMUA and my Snapchat is MorpheneLove. I will also be linking that down below as well. I love you guys so, so, so much and please stay safe.